Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful postcard perfect day here in paradise in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom on this spectacularly gorgeous Saturday morning, December 25th. 2021. So this would be uh, Christmas Day 2021. I think we're heading to 76 degrees on this gorgeous day. Sitting here alone on Christmas Day in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going through... Uh, since I have no one else to talk to, I will talk to my imaginary friends here on YouTube. So I'm just going through my mailbag, um, looking at comments from the various uh, Christmas Eve rants I put up uh, yesterday on Christmas Eve. And uh, <laughs> so I'm sitting here on Christmas morning reading all of my Christmas cards. <clears throat> from my uh, loving imaginary friends. And, and seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I really do uh, want to thank everyone that did not wish me a Merry Christmas. Uh, what did uh, Ariel say last night? You know, we were uh, talking about uh, I was on the phone with it, Ariel. Uh, she is the only human being that I decided to actually talk to last night. What was her comment she said about, uh, well, not, not necessarily dealing with, with Merry Christmas, uh, but, but it could kind of work, you know, telling, saying Merry Christmas to someone in a suicidal depression. I mean, her, her quote was, I think, telling a depressed person to cheer up is, tell, is like telling someone in, in a leg cast to go run a marathon. Uh, so <laughs> I really do uh, want to say thank you to Ariel and anyone else who did not wish me a merry fucking Christmas sitting here alone in the Point Lone Swamp. But anyway, let me go see what kind of love notes I do have from people. Uh, okay, we're going to start with some feedback from my little uh, Christmas card love note I sent to that low-rent scumbag Valhalla56. The greatest joy I had on Christmas Eve was kicking that uh, no-account fucking sleaze bag off of, uh, off of uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe once and for all. Wow, I see 27 thumbs up and one thumb down on that video. Let's all, let's all try to figure out who the one thumb down is uh, on my video telling Valhalla to go fuck himself and get the fuck out of here and leave the rest of us alone on Christmas Eve. So 27 thumbs up and 27 comments. Let me, uh, let's look at a few of the, <coughs> a few of the, uh, my favorite comments from, uh, telling Valhalla Fev56 to go fuck himself. All right, 27 comments. Uh, Nick says, get rid of toxic people in your life is the best New Year's resolution to begin with. 
Thank you, Nick. Uh, here is the horse. No Christmas without drama, even when you spend it alone with your imaginary friends, laughing my ass off. Cheers. And this is what uh, Ariel uh, had to say. Some people are just nasty and hate it when someone is having a bit of fun. Good riddance. Yes, it is. Good riddance. Uh, to the nasty people. Let's see. Gritty Chop says it would not be Christmas without a Grinch. <laughs> Kevin Shanholzer, thank you for raising the IQ of this channel. Six thumbs up to uh, Brother Kevin's comment about uh, telling Valhalla to go fuck himself. Thank you for raising the IQ of this channel. Of course we had to hear from Horse Gal out there in, uh, in Salt Lake City. You know anyone who knows a little bit of Doomer history knows who Horse Gal is and that, uh, and that she and Val uh, were you know, like close friends and uh, did a lot of work on YouTube back in the good old days of the Doomosphere. Horse Gal says, Val is still alive? <laughs> Three thumbs up. My uh, response to uh, Horse Gal is, unfortunately, he mentioned on Sandy's channel tonight that he had been to a super spreader event, so maybe that will do the trick. I wondered what happened between the two of you. I figured you figured out what a true creep the dude is. For uh, four thumbs up to that comment. Mark J. <laughs> well, once again, in a somber time, Hambone Little Tail succeeded in making me laugh. <clears throat> one of the on, one of only a handful of people on the planet who can do that. Three thumbs up. Uh, but I think my uh, my favorite comment of all, also coming from Mark J. <clears throat> Mark J. Out there, you know, in West Bumblefuck, New York. Uh, Mark J. has more class in his little fingernail than that no-class loser Valhalla 56 has in his entire fat tub of lard body. This is what uh, Valhalla, I mean, sorry, this is what Mark J. has to say about Valhalla uh, being kicked out of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. <clears throat> During most of my life, I have tried to please people. <clears throat> During one of those recurring times when you wonder why you do this channel, perhaps you can take a little consolation in knowing <coughs> that you helped me learn how to tell odious people ubiquitous in this pathetic, selfish, self-centered, whole hellhole of a society, how to fuck off <clears throat> seriously. Muchas gracias, amigo. We have seven thumbs up to Mark J's comment uh, <clears throat> saluting me kicking Valhalla, <laughs> Valhalla 56 out of, out of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. My response to Mark J. All shucks, amigo. That is the kindest Christmas message I have received all year. 
And then of course, uh, why I kicked Valhalla off of, you know, I put on this video uh, uh, sharing some uh, clips of me uh, playing music <clears throat> with uh, my friends in, uh, in Austin, Texas. Uh, from two years ago, I, you know, before Corona panic uh, reared its ugly head and, and destroyed friendships, families, everything else. And so I was, I was sharing some video clips of, uh, of loving friends playing music <clears throat> together on Christmas Eve and, uh, and so Valhalla watched that video and labeled me a, what was it, a pathetic piece of shit narcissist for sharing, uh, I am a pathetic piece of shit narcissist uh, for sharing pictures of me playing music with people I love uh, on Christmas Eve. And uh, I'm just going to share one of the comments to that video from my old buddy Henry Holt down in uh, down under in Australia. <clears throat> Someday, maybe I will have a chance to play music with Henry. <clears throat> this is his message to me and the tribe. Those Texas picking parties really were a hoot, man. Music was the medicine then, still is now. Best to you, family and friends. Thank you, Henry Holt. But uh, I, I think most of the, the comments were from my broken record Dulcinea video. Um, my uh, Dulcinea, my broken record rant, uh, what was that titled? Hambone Unleashed, just another broken record Dulcinea rant, and I noticed that that was the worst rated video I have done in weeks. Uh, seven thumbs down. I have a 77.4% uh, approval rating on that video. 24 thumbs up, seven thumbs down, 311 views, and 39 comments, and I'm I'm trying to understand, uh, you know, these seven thumbs down can be interpreted in many ways. Uh, but but I'm, I'm thinking that the interpretation is, is that people are begging me to stop talking once and for all and forever about goddamn Dulcinea. So here's a few of my, uh, few of the 39 comments from the most uh, despised video I have made and I don't know how long the last time I, I garnered 77.4 uh, approval rating. So let me wade through some of my 39 uh, my 39 love letters, uh, Glenn McCarthy quoting Nathaniel Brandon, two abysses don't make a high. <laughs> I think uh, another way of saying two uh, wrongs don't make a right. Teresa Shields says, never bang crazy, Hambone. Yes, yes, yes. Did not realize this. According to the horse, the landscape behind you shares an uncanny resemblance to Vincent Van Gogh's final painting, although he spelled painting P 
pain thing before he offed himself wheat field with crows. Pure coincidence, of course. This is my buddy William from Vermont. I have been waiting for this Dulcinea video for over a year. I have been in an existential crisis for 10 years, but I only had to watch two of her videos to say no way. Would it have done any good if I had asked you a year ago, dude, what are you thinking? I don't think so. You had to come to this conclusion yourself. Uh, night skylight. Uh, <laughs> this is a part of a long rambling, uh, from night skylight, paneling bipolar and manic with a split tail is just wrong. It's a full-blown mistake. What, did you guys do your star charts together? And you share moon signs? Fuck, Sam, you know better. You are just lonely, brother. And she has an acceptable BMI. You are better than this. You are better than this. Uh, and fuck, if I have to go on the street dressed as Santa Claus to find you a better woman, I will do it. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> several comments from uh, from horse gal. Maggie is flighty. She does not have ill intent. Also smart as a whip. I miss her original videos. Uh, James Dean. She has nicotine stained fingers for Christ's sake. Oceanic Estate. We are not upset. We're just wondering why you choose to focus on people who have nobody but themselves to blame. It's all part of the grief and growth process. But we're going to end with Paul Whetstone's comment uh, about my latest broken record Dulcinea whine with three thumbs up. Hey, Hambone, while you and Maggie may have some tendencies in common, the difference is she is toxic and boring as hell. I find your life trajectory to be quite interesting and entertaining, but the more you attach yourself to her, the more you will probably become toxic and boring as well. Move on, brother. We are begging you. I am sure you can scrounge up someone that will compliment your eccentricity in a way that you and the tribe will better appreciate. And my comment, and maybe wouldn't you love to think my final comment ever about Dulcinea, but don't count on it. <clears throat> Maggie was anything but boring when I fell in love with her, or at least my fantasy of her was not boring. Maggie is trapped in a cage and kept on a leash of her own making, which may be a good thing for the rest of us, but not for her. Maggie cannot stand it that I 
am unleashed and uncaged. If she would simply walk out of her cage and unleash herself, I assure you she would not be boring, though she may end up in prison or the madhouse within hours of her freedom. Four thumbs up. And with that, we are going to go over to, uh, here I go again, like a moth to the flame. Let's see, uh, <laughs> so, uh, let's see, any, I guess she's moved on to Nicholas, uncaged Nicholas. Don't know who uh, Nicholas is. Uh, let's see. Uh, how many videos? Her video to me today is Hambone the Tunnels Bisect. She uh, has about 25 new videos. All right, we're going to close. This is an example of anyone who does not know Dulcinea. We're going to listen. See, the, the only way that Dulcinea can talk to me anymore is by making videos to me. This is her 22-second Christmas video from Dulcinea to Hambone. Take it away, Dulcinea. Hambone, we got sucked into the matrix. We went down the rabbit holes. We went down the environmental rabbit hole and the um, um, alien rabbit hole. And, and there's they, bi they bisect. So now we're like stuck in that rabbit hole, but we can get out. I see the light. We can get out. Hambone. We got yes. Sucked into anyway, uh, <laughs> no, darling, uh, you're sucked into the alien rabbit hole. Uh, I was in that rabbit hole for 20 fucking years. But uh, anybody wondering, really seriously, wanting to know how the alien and the environmental uh, rabbit holes bisect. I have recommended this book to Maggie before. It's called Passport to the Cosmos by John Mack. Uh, you know, he's the author of Abducted. So you need to read Abducted first, and then Passport to the Cosmos was uh, the follow-up to John Mack's Abducted. So, Maggie, if you want to uh, connect some dots, darling, that's where to start. But uh, I'm kind of done with the alien rabbit hole for now, and I've realized I'm talking to myself. So, me and my little dog are going to go for a walk on this absolutely gorgeous Christmas day. And I highly advise you get out there and uh, and muddle through the best you can. My guys, would you get that squirrely, please, like that?